Hey everybody, my name is Joseph, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Here's the final, uh, elder. He actually looks kind of cool. Yeah, really tribal and stuff. He looks really cool. He has a triangle belly button. No, he has one tooth. He's a pretty cool dude. Pretty chill, as John would say. <laughs> You're here at last! <laughs> I heard, <clears throat> I heard that you might pay a visit, young human. I am farsighted in all things. Here you go, the last key shard. Combine all three shards. You collect all, all three key shards and completed the big key. Hurry to the boss. If, if you use that key, you can open the room where Darbus, the tribal patriarch, is being held. Who knows what powerful, how powerful Darbus is in his new, how dar powerful Darbus is in his new form. But I suppose I, could, I should trust your power, considering you came this far. Now hurry to the patriarch's room. Okay, I'm gonna go over here first, if that's okay with you. We got Papa Whippy. <laughs> Bum 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 bum. Nice place we got here. And of course, you're purple. I don't really know what the colors stand for. They might just be. I think I don't know. I don't, I don't know Goron culture. All I know is that they they value strength over everything else. Which is fine. They're basically dwarves, except. In my opinion, a little more likable. Maybe not in this game, but... What? Oh, okay. I probably could have figured that out, but... It doesn't matter. Yeah, keys are only a threat when they're being when the game developers are being assholes with them. But, so I'm guessing I gotta... Ah, oh, whatever. Um... Can I jump over there? Yeah, I mean, I don't see any other way, so... JUMP! And I'm dead. Well then! <laughs> Okay. So, where do I go? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's just something that... It's just sort of weird. And it's not the first conclusion I would come to. Because you never do that. If you never, never had to do that before, so... Damn! Didn't think that would kill you. Now I am unstoppable! Bang, bang, up, oh, bang, up, oh, bang, bang, up, oh, bang, and bang. No! God damn it. I pushed A. Come on, let's go. Right, let's get some more hearts. All right. Hup. I wonder what it'd be like actually if you could actually jump with Link in game. It's like not even ironically, like you could just jump. Honestly, it makes the platforming a little harder. Who's Legends up? You know exactly. You know when you make a platform. You always know. Over here. Don't get me wrong, I like the, the bow and arrow. It's pretty much my favorite weapon in Legend of Zelda. Uh, 
type of reoccurring I should say. But I mean like I would expect this from like maybe like the water temple or you know, maybe the sand temple or you know, or even like the forest temple, but the Goron? Come on. Like, like the hero of the past just gave a dainty weapon to a tribe of warriors. What could be in here? Maybe a key or something. No? Pepe Rupe. Got a shit ton of money here. Hope they don't mind me taking all their money. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? Um. Well, this is. What do? Do I jump on that? No. Why won't this break? Maybe I just maybe I hit one of these things. There we go. Yep. And I will rise you up with. Um, Magnets. I think it only goes to two places. Okay. Um, I think. What's your? We're trying to go. I'm not too sure where the boss room actually is. To be honest. Raise me! There we go. Let's try to get that chest through here. I'll probably look at the map a little bit later and see where am I supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to go back to where the uh, bridge guys were. Chest down here. Must be up there then. How would I get there? I have to jump down. So there's no point to being here right now. Okay. got some time together guys um, what new games are coming out are you guys excited for I'm usually not all that excited for new games unless it's an game. honestly I don't I don't have a new system and I don't have a supercomputer so I really wish I did um, so I'm basically my expectations are right now I'm really looking forward to uh, Stardew Valley because I mean, I, I've been playing uh, Harvest Moon since I was a kid, but I sort of outgrown them. They're too childish for me, which is sort of funny because, um, what the fuck are you? Ah! 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 What the fuck? Oh my god, those guys are scary. I don't like them. I really don't like them. Um, they're a little too childish for me. Which is ironic because the first one I played was uh the first one I played was uh what it was called A Wonderful Life which is uh debatably the most adult out of all of them. I mean at the same time chest up there. Why didn't I get that chest? Oh well 
but like all the ones I'm playing now are sort of like handhelds and you know, you, you look like a kid and you guys you look like you get all your bachelorette look like kids and you know I'm not I don't get I just don't get interested in them. It's not adult enough for me and there is no Yay! You got a heart piece, collect one more for another heart, full heart container. Um like like I said, I've outgrown them, sort of. But they haven't outgrown the concept, you know? Obviously, I don't... I'm not, you know... I mean, I could hope for a AAA Harvest Moon game, but... Like, I know that's not really in the realm of possibility. Stardew Valley is basically going to be my replacement for, you know, uh, Harvest Moon. It's... I love Harvest Moon. Shoot, there he is again. Shoot him, shoot him. All right, boss. Ah. One down. Oh, there's some behind me. Good thing they can't hit me. What a bunch of losers. All right, and there should be one more. There he is. Goodbye. There's more than one more. There you go. All right, they're all dead. No, is there another one? No. Um, two chests are up there, so I don't have to worry about it right now. Uh, it's just like the animals look—they don't look like real animals, you know. Um, they kidify a lot of things, which is—I know that's their demographic, you know, kids, but. You know, they can at least try making a more mature one. At least one for teenagers. You know, make one for teenagers, and I'm sure I'd be okay with that. You know? I mean, you're working on a farm. You should be... Not necessarily... Oh, fuck! You shouldn't necessarily be used to death, but... but... Like, you should know what death is, and that you should avoid it. And also, you should have... Know. Bachelorettes and bachelors that actually look like they're old enough to be bachelorettes and bachelors. But I digress. This is about Legend of Zelda, not about Harvest Moon. <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh wait, I gotta god damn it. <laughs> uh, I get you now, game. I understand you. You and me, we got a connection here. I'm pretty sure this is the first place that a game I actually beat. My friend Park, he beat uh Ocarina of Time basically for me. When I was a kid, I wasn't the biggest fan of Legend of Zelda, but I really did like Ocarina of Time as a kid. I mostly liked the freedom it gave you. Like, you know, it was a type of freedom for like... Come on, let's go. It was like a type of freedom that you, know, you could still go anywhere you wanted, but at the same time... You know, could, wow, so great. At the same time, you know, you had really big goals, and the temples were really grand and fun, and it's pretty scary. Honestly, in my opinion, that's sort of what Skyrim misses, and it has the open world part, and it has the lore, you know. What it really lacks is, like, a special quality. It's sort of hard to say. Ooh, a fairy. I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. <laughs> Look, you're happy, right? You caught a fairy in a bottle! It'll come to your aid with hearts if your health runs out. Um. Change that back to this. Notice so I haven't used my boomerang once in this entire dungeon. How would I get up there? Gotta find some way to get there eventually. 
But anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode, guys. I'll see you guys next time. It's over!